a lot of you have been asking me how much it costs to do a poultry farming here in the Gambia. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna take you around and show you exactly the house that we built for our poultry. That's this one right here, okay? Though we are building another one just behind it, all right? And I'm gonna take you through every single, you know, cost, okay? Everything that I recorded, every single cost uh, it took us to build this house. So before I get to that, I'm gonna go inside the house and show you exactly how it is built, okay? So first, I'm gonna show you the exterior. So this is how it is like from the outside. You have uh, a block walk on one side of the building all the way to the end, okay? All the way to the corrugate and the same thing applies to the other side. And on the sides, okay, you have uh, a chicken wire, okay? A chicken wire or chicken mesh, chicken wire, chicken mesh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so from the edge all the way to the other edge over there and it is about 11 meters, so sorry, 16 meters in length and the width is about 11 meters all right so we had a concrete running all along that length all right then from there we have about one two three four courses right four blocks and the roof is all metal you can see the roof not all metal but it's supported by the metal every uh about two and a half meters you're gonna have a metal over there every two and a half meters you're gonna have a metal and right from inside Okay, I'm gonna go inside and show you, but that's how it is like from the outside. And we use from concrete pillars, yeah? Concrete pillars. And each one of these is about 1.8 meters in height. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. All right, and also at the edges. This is how we build it from the outside. Okay, we also have this um, plastic nylon around it. That is just to keep the rain from um, dropping inside as it is, you know, uh, dropping from the could get down on the ground so that it will not bounce back and get inside so as it is right now um we can just remove the uh the nail but anyways um yeah that is a final day so i'm gonna walk inside all around the farm you have bananas okay this is keeping the place very cold okay very very cool and this is the place where we uh wash their drinkers every single morning okay so i'm gonna step inside okay I'm gonna step inside while, while changing my suit, like I showed you in other videos, and make sure the door is always locked behind you. So this is the black suit that we use when we are walking inside the farm or the house. Okay, so um, this is a small cabinet or a small palo sort of, uh, where we keep their feed. Like this is what we're gonna give them in the next few hours. And uh, this is where we also uh, keep our shoes our um, uh, trays, yeah, empty trays, and any other bag that is not very, very strong. So this is where we keep them so that they will not be disturbed by the bigger ones and the big, much stronger one. So I'm gonna walk inside and show you how it is like from the top. And right now, about one hour ago, we gave them, about one hour ago, we gave them their afternoon feed. Okay, afternoon feed. So that, that's what they are enjoying right now. Okay, that's what they are enjoying right now. And this is their nest boxes. I guess I have all the estimates for all of this. Yeah, I have all of them. So these are their ne nest boxes all over, all around the house. And you can see we have, uh, there's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done. You can see the roof is really, really dusty. So you can see metal, metal everywhere. So this is the one that is supporting the corrugate and the wood above okay so this is how it is like from inside so i'm gonna give you uh, the estimated cost of the block work the concrete work the metal work and the workmanship and everything that is you know that we went or the, that we uh, put together to be able to uh, build this house so you can see also the uh, lightning systems okay lightning system these lights are battery powered like the bulb itself is having battery that means if you switch off the light if you switch off the button uh you turn off the button it wouldn't go off immediately because uh, the light the, the, the bats need to have some time for the light to start dimming while they are also preparing to go to bed so if you just switch it off immediately like let's say you just switch off and the light just went off without bats knowing that the light is going off they're gonna get panicked Right, so that's the that's the reason why we can, we kind of install this kind of 
uh, bulb that takes battery so you just switch it off the bulbs will stay on they'll just keep on dimming and dimming as their battery is running out and it seems to be a very good one because it has been here for about about an, about a year yeah yeah about a year throughout the length or throughout the uh, the entire um uh age of this bus yeah since when they were one month old that's the time we brought them here and now they are about nine months old yeah yeah it's about a eight, eight months yeah it's about eight to ten months yeah that's how much this light are still working all right so let's talk about the cost of everything that's on this infrastructure all right so now getting into the meat of this video to wrap it up um i have my uh the list of expenditures right here on my screen so i'm gonna read it, read it out to you i have it in about uh four categories the four first category is the block work we have the roof work as the second category the chicken wire that is the, the ventilation as a third category and the drinkers and feeders as the fourth fourth category and i have one extra um category which i call extras okay so this is where uh, i put uh together like the fuel that you would use to go around you know taking care of some stuff buying pro buying materials uh i would also um say let's say if you tip somebody or maybe you pay somebody to do some work that is not in any of these three categories or four categories so i'll just categorize it as that or maybe i, I send somebody to go get me stuff so that is where i will put aside uh put aside uh, or that's where i'm gonna um add yes what i spend on that and everything that i'm mentioning here in this video excludes the buying of uh the chicks and also the feeding of chicks that will come in a separate video okay so this is just on the infrastructure so altogether uh, the total cost okay for extras okay i was gonna start with the block wall that is the workmanship of building the house the cement that went into it the uh the stones the red stone that i bought um the sand everything uh is a hundred and ten thousand okay so this is really really you know lower than what we're gonna be spending on the new house that we are building because this was done about two years ago i started this project um february 2021 and right now it's about january 2023 so this cost is about two years old so everything here will be way cheaper than what you're gonna spend if you're gonna do it right now okay so but i'm gonna give you a, a rough estimate of what it's gonna cost doing it in 2023 that is the new building that i'm doing uh so the roof work like okay to block work is 110,000. the roof work is a hundred and sixteen thousand okay that's including the metal uh, structures that you have uh, that is holding the wood the wood itself the metal seed the corrugated seed and also the workmanship of putting together everything okay the roof work the metal I can remember it was about 45,000 so the rest of the money went into the workmanship and also the uh, the corrugate and the wood yeah so you have uh, the next category, which is the chicken wire. That is the ventilation around the uh, the house. Okay, that uh, cost me about twenty five thousand. That is including the buying of the material, the wood, the chicken wire, and also the workmanship. You have the drinkers and feeder. That is technically not part of the house, but you will need to get them to be able to uh, house or keep the birds in your house. So altogether, that cost me about. 45,000 because I had to buy 40 drinkers and 40 feeders okay so some of them later I realized that they were not good so I had to replace them okay so altogether the drinkers the feeders you know uh, yeah those kind of stuff cost me about $45,000 uh, so altogether it brought um, the extras yeah the extras were like the extra fuel the uh, miscellaneous expenditures and all that I uh, that I spent for about maybe three or four months to build this house. It, uh, by the way, I started this house 2021 January and it was completed in around March, April, April. Yeah, the bulk of the work was done around that time, but the drinkers and uh, feeders came later. 
somewhere just before the bad came in okay though i bought some drinkers even before i started building the house because i know i was going to go into this so i bought about 10 15 drinkers i think just before i started in the house so altogether it was about three hundred and sixteen thousand dollars but i would say if you do the same capacity this is going to house about a thousand baht okay if you're doing six uh six baht per square meter you're going to go uh, a little bit higher than that maybe you might do it um for seven or maximum eight but eight bars per square meter this is not very recommended you really have to have experience to be able to get to that level or to be able to do that uh density level okay so if you were to do this house right now i would say it's gonna cost you maybe four hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay about four hundred so that's gonna be your new budget if you do it in this year because the cement went really high workmanship went high corrugate every single thing wood is even more expensive so that's why my new house i'm building i'm gonna do everything metal okay metal that's what i'm planning to do okay but the metal worker is still you know not bringing my metal so i'm gonna give them a few days uh before i start you know calling them every single day to get my metal okay but i'm anyway i'm gonna update you on that so this time should have found that house completely finished it was two months ago since i started that project so anyway so we're gonna update you on that as well so that's what we spent on building this house and if you're to build it right now in 2023 you're gonna be budgeting about four hundred fifty thousand dollars. all right so that's what i have for you in this video i hope it helped you and we are also trying to uh, start um uh poultry session so i know a lot of people trying to contact you know on the comments and also on instagram asking uh, um, how to go about you know doing poultry farming uh, in the gambia uh, all that cannot be talked online but uh, we're going to try to do an online uh, i mean uh question and answer session where I, i'm going to come live you can be asking me question maybe i might invite you to talk or maybe you can ask question through the comments or maybe i might post a question or you might post your question up front before i come live to answer those ones but we'll i'm, I'm gonna I'll let you know how to go about that. I already posted a comment. Uh, sorry, uh, I already made a post on that on our community page. So just go there and start asking your question, uh, or tell me exactly what time will favor you, so that I'll know how to you know position that live session. All right, so that's what I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one.